and lifting our chest, rolling our shoulder blades down our back. And then I just really want to stay with this theme of inviting our core to the party. So our core being our pelvic floor, our circumference of our core, our psoas muscles, our glutes and low back, our spinal extensors, and then our diaphragm, and then this crisscross here to here and here to here. So I'm gonna try and get all of those mo movements in today in some form or another. So let's start off, sit up tall. Nice. And then just put your right hand on your low belly, your left hand on your middle belly. Roll those shoulders in, back and down. And then breathe into your low belly. So pelvic floor, low belly. Breathe into your upper belly. And then just exhale, feel your core engage as you squeeze the air out. Good, inhale, low belly, upper belly. And then squeeze those muscles, use those muscles, squeeze the air out. Nice, let's take our hands onto our sides. Roll our shoulders in, back and down. And then inhale into our hands. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale into our hands. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Good, and then take your hands onto your back body. So roll the shoulders in, back and down. Good, and then inhale into your back of your hands or into your hands, into your low back. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Good, inhale into your low back. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Nice, and then let's bring your right hand forward. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, feel your head lift and lengthen, and then bring that right arm across, left arm under. So now we're adding our shoulders. Good. Lift your heart, and then exhale. Good. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale. And then right ear to your right shoulder. Feel the stretch on your left side. Left ear to your right shoulder. Feel the stretch on your right side. Good job, come back to center. Nice, and then take your right hand on your right knee. Take your left hand on your low back. Good, inhale, so feel that engage, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, pull your hand into your knee, your knee into your hand. Good, good, so feel yourself start to rotate more. Feel your core muscles start to turn on, inhale. Exhale, and then just bring your left fingertips behind you, lift and lengthen your spine, feeling your breath help you. Nice, and then exhale, come back to center. Walk your hands forward, rock from side to side. Nice. And then inhale, come back to center, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Good, take that left hand forward, hug it in. Bring it across, right arm under. So pull your right arm into your left, your left arm into your right, and then lift your chest. So feel your body lifting. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze. Good, and then take your left ear to your left shoulder. And then your right ear to your right shoulder. Good, feeling the stretch on the side of your neck. Inhale, left shoulder. Inhale, right shoulder. Good, inhale, come back to center. So lift, take your left hand onto your right knee, right hand into your low back on the right side and inhale, fill it up. Exhale, press it out. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen, fill that up. Exhale, press it out. Good, and then inhale, lift and lengthen. Reach that right hand back. Lift your spine. Exhale, release. Good, come back to center. Let's rock from side to side. Nice. 
And then let's make our way onto our backs. So coming onto your back with the back of your head on the mat. I want you to pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then open your chest. Feel your shoulder blades melt onto the mat. Nice. And then hands can be next to you or hands can be at your sides, pressing down. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Send that right leg up. Just press that right heel towards the sky. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Inhale, press it away. Exhale, use your breath. Good. And then take that right leg out to the side. Good. Inhale, press that heel away. Exhale, pull your toes towards you. So just using the strength of your leg. Inhale, press that heel away. Exhale, pull those towards, toes towards you. Good. And then inhale, bring that right leg up. Straighten your left leg, kind of dig that heel in, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then bring that right leg across. So kind of press, 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 and kick. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Nice. Exhale, come back to center. Hug your knees in your chest. Nice. Both feet on the mat. Hands out to the side. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart, feel the shoulder blades pressing into the floor, send that left leg up. Good, inhale, press that left heel away. Exhale, pull your toes towards you. Inhale, press that heel away, press in your low belly. Exhale, pull your toes towards you. Good, then inhale, press hard into your right foot and take that left leg out to the side. So you're pressing your right foot down. You're pressing your left foot into the imaginary wall. Inhale, press away. And exhale, feel your core engage. Inhale, press away. Exhale, feel your core engage. Good, inhale, come back to center. And then straighten your right leg. Dig that right heel. And then inhale, low belly, middle belly, lift your heart, feel your shoulder blades on the mat. Exhale, bring that left leg across. Good, inhale. And then press away, exhale. Inhale. Press that heel away, exhale. One more breath, inhale. Press that heel away, exhale. Good, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Nice. And then let's bring your feet onto the mat. Take your right ankle onto your left knee. Press that right thigh away. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Roll the shoulder blades onto your back. Nice. Stay there or use your legs and pull that left leg into your chest. So left leg is strong, just like the arms. Good, and then grab your right foot, pull it towards you, press that right knee away. Roll the shoulder blades onto the mat. Nice, you guys. Good job. And then exhale, left foot down, right foot down. Take that left ankle on top of your right knee. Good, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, shoulder blades on the mat, press that left thigh away. Maybe just if you can't reach your left thigh, you can put a block on your hand and press into that left leg. Nice. And then either stay there or take your hand away, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly and pull that right leg towards you. So active right leg, active left leg. Grab that left foot with your right hand, press that left knee away with your left hand and then roll your shoulder blades onto the mat. Nice. And then exhale, hug your knees and your chest. Make your way all the way on up. Good job. And then let's 
grab our straps. Okay. So before we put them on, I want you to lift and lengthen. Take that right hand forward, like stop. I want you to feel like stop. So I want you to feel like pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, and then right hand, like talk to the hand, stop, right? And then pull those fingers back and get a nice stretch in your wrist. Nice. And then drop your hands towards the floor, make a fist, feel the top of your forearm stretch. Lift and lengthen. Good. And then just take your wrist around. Good job. And then switch sides. So lift and lengthen. I want you to feel yourself lift. Take that left hand forward, pull those fingers back. Nice. And then make a fist. Drop your, your fist down towards the floor. Feel the stretch in the top of your forearm. Pull this down. Lift and lengthen your spine. Nice. And then just take your hands around in a circle. Nice. All right. And then I want you to take the band that we tied up nicely. And if it's not perfect, we're not going to spend that much time with this. I want you to lift and lengthen and actually i'm going to come onto my knees you can sit or come onto your knees but i want you to be able to see me so i want you to roll your shoulders in back and down take your hands forward and then pull in your belly squeeze your boot your booty right roll those shoulders in up down and back and then press away and pull it in Press away and then pull your elbows down and back. Nice. And then let's take this onto all fours. So, Teresa, if this isn't doable for you or Marianne, then just go onto your elbows and skip this. Just go into forearm plank, but just something to try. So, grip the mat and then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. So, invite your core to the party. Press your hands out into the, to the uh, strap. And then bring your head in line with your shoulders. Good. And then before we do chaturanga, I'm going to say take that right leg up and back. Engage your core. Squeeze out into the block. Make sure your foot's not up above. We're not inviting our low back to this party. So low belly, middle belly, head in line with your spine. Good. Exhale, right leg down. Then press in your hands, pull in your low belly. Take that left leg back. You're kicking, you're pressing away, and then re-engage your low belly, your middle belly, take your head in line with your spine. Exhale, come on down. Nice. Then grip the mat, come forward with bent elbows and hang here. So letting your weight going into the band. So maybe you're here or maybe you're on the floor. I can't reach the floor the way this is. And then exhale, come back, take a child's pose. Nice. Notice how that felt. Good. Come back up. Come on to all fours. Come on to your fists if that's better. Hold your weights, Teresa, if that's better. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Feel that core engage. Take that right leg back. Kick that leg like we just did. Nice. And then I'm going to just see how this works. Shift your weight to the right. Reach that left hand forward. It's a little tight with the strap, but I'm just trying it. Nice. Exhale, left hand down, right knee down. Good. And then pull into your low belly, pull into your middle belly, head in line with your shoulders. So feel everything aligned. Good. And then take that left leg back. Re-engage your low belly, re-engage your middle belly, and then shift your weight to the left. And then if it's not too wacky, reach that right arm forward. So with this strap, it's a little tight and wacky, but it's still a balance. Good. Exhale, come back down. And then let's do puppy pose. So take your hands in front of you. Press your hands tightly into the floor like you're closing a jar and it's not closing and then go down. So press, 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 press. Nice. 
and then walk your hands back so the strap is still there unless you absolutely hate it and press your hands again so you're trying to close the jar it's not closing tuck your toes under with bent knees press in your hands feel your arms engaging and then low belly middle belly gripping the mat back is flat let your head relax towards your hands nice and then come all the way down good and then on your knees or not on your knees if you don't need to be or not at all pull in your low belly pull in your middle belly take your head in line with your shoulders maybe you're just going to hang here maybe you're going to come here maybe you're going to then lift your knees but i want you to feel this pulling in your low belly pulling in your middle belly hanging on to the strap see how you have just the right form nice and then exhale nice and then i'm going to take the strap off take a nice little child pose or a puppy pose good job and then press in your hands like you like the strap's still there so press in your hands like the strap's still there you're pressing out and then tuck your toes under come in down with facing dog Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then let your head relax towards the floor. Nice. And then inhale, step your feet to your hands, palm to flat back, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, bring your head in line with your shoulders. See how that makes a difference. So bring your head all the way in line with your shoulders. Lift your head a little bit more, Teresa. The back of your head yes and then exhale fold pull in your belly so you can get your chest onto your legs and then inhale sweep your arms up pull in your low belly pull in your middle belly lift your heart good bring your hands to your heart nice we're going to do two half salutations so we can just focus on our breath so press down into your feet engage your pelvic floor towards your sacrum Pull in your low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Good. Inhale, arms up, look up. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. So focusing on your breath. Inhale, flat back, head in line with your shoulders. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more of those. Inhale, press in your feet, pull in your low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Good breath. Exhale, focus on your exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, lunges with locust pose. So come to the front of the mat, press in your feet, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then we're staying with our breath. Lift your chest, inhale, arms up. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingers to the floor, step that right foot back, shorten lunge. Exhale, squeeze that right glute, low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Good. Exhale, hands down on your knees or not. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, feel your core come to the party, come all the way onto your belly. Right. And then take your hands next to you, pull in your low belly. Pull in your middle belly, and as you do, lift your chest. So use that core engagement to lift your chest. Then add your arms. Nice. And then if it doesn't hurt your low back, you can bite your legs to the party. Nice. And then right arm on top of left, bend your knees. Go from side to side. Good job. And then let's do that one more time. So hands next to you, chin on the mat. Pull in your low belly. 
then pull in your upper belly and see how that helps you lift your chest. Then add your arms, face your palms towards the floor. And then if you want, add your legs or not. Low back people, keep your legs on the ground. Nice. And then left arm on top or right, turn your head the other way. Take your legs from side to side. Nice. Slide your fingertips back so that they're in line with your shoulders. Grip them out. Roll your shoulders in, back and down and hug them in. Good. And then press up onto all fours. Step your right foot forward. Squeeze everything in. Engage that left glute. Arms up, press down to lift up. Good, fingertips to the mat, lift your back leg. And then low belly, middle belly, lengthen your head in line with your shoulders. Nice, you guys. Left foot to right, come the flat back. Head in line with your shoulders, low belly, middle belly. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Left side, press in your feet. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Focusing on your breath. Exhale, flat back and fold. Good. Inhale, low belly, middle belly, lengthen your head. Exhale, fingers to the mat, step that left leg back, drop your knee. Inhale, press your feet down, squeeze that left glute. Low belly, middle belly, lift your heart, and then arms up. Good. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plank on your knees, Teresa, with me, a regular plank. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Make your way onto the floor. Nice. And then uh, forearm plank. Not forearm plank yet, sphinx pose. I always forget to say that, you guys, you know that. So press in your elbows and then grip them up so you lift your chest. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. We're gonna do the roll up. So we're gonna do the first two, not lifting our knees. So just lift your hips. Why? I want you to feel that core engagement. I want you to feel that abdominal core working. And then exhale, hips down. Press in your elbows, grip them out with your hands. Good. And then roll up. So press down, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Just lift your hips. I want you to feel the front abs working. Good. Exhale, come on down. Good. Press in your elbows, press in your hands, lift your chest. Good. This time you can also lift your knees, but I want you to first start with just lifting your hips. So pull in your low belly, feel that core engage. Then lift your knees. So now we're inviting our legs to the party, but I want you to feel your core. And then make sure your head's in line with your shoulders, that your gaze is at your thumbs, that your booty is flat. And then knees down, hips down. Good. Come all the way down. Wide your fingertips next to your chest. Roll those shoulders in and back. And then pull your belly in and up. Press on up. Set that left foot forward. Nice. And then press those feet down. Squeeze your booty. Then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, feel your heart lift, and then add your arms. And come going slowly so you can feel all these little changes. Good. Fingertips on the mat, lift that back leg, squeeze those legs in like you're a nutcracker. Good. And then right leg to left. Come the flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice. One more. Standing lunges. Pull in your low belly. Pull in your upper belly. Lift your heart. Arms up. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. Good, inhale, flat back, head in line with your shoulders. Good, exhale, bend your knees kind of into a chair pose. Bring your hands to prayer. Pull in that low belly, pull in that middle belly, lift and find a focus point. 
And then shift your weight to your left foot and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Nice. And then lift with control. Step that right foot back to crescent lunge or warrior one if that's better. Good. Straighten that left leg and make sure your feet are wide enough that it works for you. Pull that right hip forward, that left hip back. And then bend your front knee. Press down just like we did when we were on our knees. And then bend your right knee. Bring your shoulders in line with your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Nice. Arms up. Nice. And then straighten that back leg. Hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog. Take a moment here. So come part way to plank and then press the floor away till your shoulders get broad. Come back to down dog. Take a moment. Pull in your low belly. Pull in your middle belly. Nice. And then come forward to plank or plank on your knees. And all the way down to the ground. And we'll do low cobra. So bring your hands next to you. Roll those shoulders in, back and down. Hold on, Marianne, we're not there yet. I saw you, now slide your hands back lower. Slide your hands towards your hips. Good, now tug in tight. Pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly. And then inhale, come on up. You can stay here or you can do cobra ups. Inhale, squeeze that belly, squeeze that upper belly, shoulder blades back, come back down. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, come on down. Good, and then press up onto your all fours. Good. And then up into downward facing dog. If you need to stay on your knees and then claw the mat with your hands, pull your belly in and up. Let your head be in line, your ears be in line with your arms. Nice. And then take that right leg up behind you. Rip the mat, bend that right knee, open your hip. Nice. And then square that hip. Step that right foot forward. And let's come into a wide warrior one on this side. Nice. And then bend that left knee. Roll your shoulders in line with your hips. Squeeze your booty, just like if your knees were on the ground. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Feel your, your spine lift. Nice. And then this time, take your elbows out to the side. Twist towards me, twist to the right. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. You don't have to go far. And then left hand on your outer right knee, right hand pull back, like, please get me out of here. Right, your face, I see you facing the door, Vicky. Just please get me out of here. Nice. And then exhale, come back to center, step that back foot in and let's do a little hamstring stretch here. So pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Come forward. I like to start with my hands on the front of my thigh to get the top of my leg and then work my hands down my leg. Just make sure that you're trying to get your chest, not your face onto that right leg and that your weight is evenly distributed between your big toe, your pinky toe and your heel. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Shift your weight into your right foot and then lift and step your feet together. Exhale, fold. In the house, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Pull into your belly. Inhale, arms up. Look up. Exhale, flat back or fold. Right. Inhale, flat back, head in line with your shoulders, and then drop your tush, kind of come into chair. Nice. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. So feel that crunching down and lifting up. And then shift your weight into your right foot and just feel to lift and lower. Feel that balance. So go slow, Marianne, slow, yes. Good, and then lift, find your focal point. Step that left foot back, nice. And then crescent lunge on your back toes or warrior one, whatever feels good to you, nice. 
and then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, bend that back knee, shoulders in line with your hips, squeeze your booty. Nice. And then release, hands to the mat, come to downward facing dog. Take a moment, rip the mat, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, let your head relax towards the floor. Good. And then come forward to plank, plank on your knees. Make your way to the floor. Nice. And then we're gonna do some cobra up. So take your fingers, slide them back towards your chest. So your fingers are in line with your chest. Perfect. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. And then low cobra ups, right? So you just go up a little bit or medium cobra up. So you're really working your arms, your upper back. Nice. One more. Good. Come all the way down, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, push on up. Good. Press to down, we're facing down. Good. Then come part way to plank, grip the mat, press it away. Feel your shoulders get strong. Nice. And back to down dog. Nice, Deb. And then left leg up behind you. Keep that grip on the mat. Straighten your right leg if you can. Good. Bend that left knee. Open your head. Good. And then set that left foot to your left hand or come onto your knees and do it. And we'll come into a wide warrior one. So this is like a made up crescent lunge, warrior one, warrior two combination, you guys. So if anyone asks you what you do, I, I couldn't really tell you. I'm just trying to get good our core, but it's not like an official something. Okay, so let's bend that right knee, bring your shoulders in line with your hips, and then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, left your chest. I feel like my whole spine changes when I do that. Good. And then from here, straighten that right leg, take your arms out, twist over to the left, squeeze your booty, squeeze your low belly. Nice, you can stay here or take your right fingertips onto the left leg and reach that left arm back. So you're more lengthening and reaching than you're pressing into your You're really using that left hand. You're using that rotational core, the low belly, middle belly right here. Obliques, nice. Exhale, come back to center. Step that back foot in. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Good. Hold. Nice. And then inhale, come all the way up. Shift. And bring your right foot to your left. And then fold. Nice. And then inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, chair pose. So pull the hips back and then pull in your low belly, lift your chest, hands down, so your shoulder blades are down and back. And then from that space, reach forward and up, get a little lower if you can. Nice. And then hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog. Now, I'm gonna say, just come onto your knees for a minute. If you wanna use the strap again for the chaturangas, throw it on right now, okay? If you don't need the strap, then don't use it. So if you find it helpful, use it. If you don't find it helpful, don't use it. You'll be choice. So some of this has to be you going like, this is what I need and that's okay, right? Whatever it is, it's okay, okay. So down dog, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly up, yep, bring your chest towards your legs, Teresa. Nice. And then come forward to plank. Maybe you're on your knees. If you have a strap on, you're hugging in and you're just gonna hold this chaturanga pose. Teresa, you could do forearm plank here. Nice. And then press on up. Pull the shoulder blades back. Nice. And then come on back, pressing out into the strap if you're using it, down or facing down. Nice. And then let's just do that again so we don't get stuck. 
All right, so come forward to plank. I'm going to go onto my knees. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly if you're using the strap. Then just bend your elbows and invite the core to the party. Hold and then press to open. Nice. Come on back. Nice. And then take the strap off for now. Good job. And then make your way onto your elbows for sphinx pose. So press in your elbows, press in your hands, lift your low belly or lift your belly and your legs. Keep your head in line with your shoulders, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, butt down. And then take your left hand towards your right and shift onto your left side. Now either both knees are down and your head's in line with your shoulders. Both knees are up or that right leg is forward. Whatever you're doing, bring your head in line with your shoulders, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Good, and then exhale, come on down. I'm gonna do a puppy pose. My teacher doesn't take a break in between, but I need one. <laughs> so press in your hands, lift your heart, and then pull your heart towards the floor. Nice, and then I'm gonna face the other way so you can see it from behind. So you can cheat if you want to. You can sneak some chocolate covered almonds, I won't know. Okay, so come on to your forearms again. Good, grip the mat, press in your elbows, pull in your low belly. So I'm gonna start on my knees and I'll add my leg. Bring your right hand towards your left arm, shift onto that right side, and then squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly, bring your head in line with your shoulders. And then maybe your left leg goes here. Maybe your left leg goes here. Maybe you stack or maybe bring that left leg in front and then re-engage, bring your head in line with your shoulders, squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly. Nice, and then exhale, come on down. Sphinx pose, so press in your elbows, pull in your low belly, pull in your upper belly, lift your chest. Nice, and then let's just try that one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my knees just because that's easier to show. So come into Sphinx pose, either on your knees or regular, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your head in line with your shoulders. Good, take your left hand towards your right, turn towards the right. Maybe your knees are down and your right leg is hovering. Bring your head in line with your shoulders. Or your right foot is in front of your left and you're pressing up, head in line with your shoulders, or right leg is on top of left. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, squeeze your booty. Nice. Exhale, come back to Sphinx pose. This is hard, right? Press in your elbows, grip with your hands, pull in your low belly, middle belly, Sphinx pose. Nice. And then the other side one more time. So walk your right hand towards your left. Good. Come on to that right side. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Line your head with your shoulders and then bend your knees, lift. Maybe the left leg is here. Maybe the left foot is in front and the right leg is here. Maybe this left leg is on top. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your upper belly, bring your head line with your shoulders. Nice. And then exhale, come on down. I'm gonna say take a little child's pose or a puppy pose. Good job, you guys, a lot, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Nice. Okay, and then from here, grip the mat, come to downward facing dog. Pretend that that band is still there. So you're pressing your outer arms into the band, but you're gripping the mat with your hands. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, let your head sink towards the Four. Nice. And then let's just take our left leg up behind us. Bend your knee, open your hip. Good. Bring your left foot forward. Wide warrior one. Okay. I think I got lost, so I'm going to do the left. I'll do the right. I'm not really sure. So left foot is wide as the mat, right foot is wide as the mat this time. 
straighten your left leg and then push that right hip forward, left hip back. Nice. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, bend your knees. Nice. And then again, lift your chest, bring that left arm back, bring that right hand here. So pull, really activate that back hand. Nice. Or if you don't have low back stuff going on, you can bring your hands to the outside of that leg, shift a little forward and bring that left arm up. Nice, exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Nice, and then I'm just gonna step my right foot forward. Mostly so I don't get lost, you guys. <laughs> so right foot forward, once we've done the work and as wide as the front of the mat, left leg, wide as the left side of the mat, toes facing the left corner of the mat. So look at your own feet and then straighten that front leg. Pull that right hip back, that left hip forward. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your chest, bend your knees. Good. Then let's reach that right hand back. Reach, reach, reach. Good. And then Let's either reach this left hand here, reach this left hand here, like a warrior two, or you can come down and twist. So pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, or ask your legs together. Nice. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And then come all the way to the mat. And then we're going to take our hands in front of us. We're going to start working on our back bends, our legs and back bends. Good. So bring your hands in front of you. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. And then just lift that right leg a couple of inches so you're not inviting your low back to the party. Low belly, middle belly are in, right leg is up. Good. And then take your left hand to your left, to your forehead. Like, oh my. Nice. Right leg down, left hand down. Good. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Hover that left leg. So just a couple inches. If you go high, then you're going to activate your low back. That's not what we're trying to do. And then bring your right hand to your right forehead. And then re pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Nice. Exhale, release. Bend your knees, go from side to side. Nice. And then from here, bring your fingertips next to you, hug your shoulders in, back and down. Nice. Press on up. And then come to down facing dog. Nice. And then Drop onto your knees. And we're going to do uh, drop back, drop back camels. So squeeze your low belly and squeeze your booty. These all work together. Tuck your toes under and roll those shoulders in, back, and down. Nice. And then just lift your heart and then just weave back and forth. So your hands can be on your low back. Your hands can just be back and then reach for your heels. I want your heart to lift. I want you to squeeze your booty. So Teresa, maybe put your hands on your booty. Hug those elbows in. Nice. And then on the next one, squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly. Your hands stay on your low back or just reach your hands back. See if you reach your ankles. If that hurts your low back, stay higher. Nice, Deb. And then exhale, just sit down for a moment. Take a breath. If this hurts your knees, sit on the block. Nice. And then let's do that again. So come on up. Pull your pelvic floor towards your sacrum. So squeeze everything. They're, they're friends. They work together. Good. If that was easy for you, untuck your toes. I didn't see anyone that that was easy for, but roll those shoulders in, back and down. And then squeeze your booty, squeeze your belly, lift your heart. So I want everyone's heart lifted. I want you to lift your heart towards the 
sky, Teresa, so the jungle doesn't get you. Nice. And then take your hands on your low back if your back is wonky. See if you can come back and forth, back and forth. And then come on back, either leave your hands here or reach your hands towards your heels. Open your heart. Squeeze your booty. Exhale, come back down. Nice. And then let's take a child's pose. Nice. All right, and then before we do uh, our final back bend, I'm gonna do one more side body. So go back to your elbows if you have wrist issues, or I want you to come on to your knees, take that hand at an angle. So press into that hand before you do anything else. I want your, um, I want the crease of your thumb in line with the crease of your elbow. I want you to squeeze your booty. Nice. If it hurts your hand, I want you to go onto your elbow. Mary, take your arm farther in front of you. So I want it to be at an angle. And then either you're lifting this right leg, right? Or same options. Right leg goes in front of the left. Lift that left leg. I think a lot of you could try this, even if you're on your elbow. Or your right leg is on top of your left. Squeeze your booty, head in line with shoulders. And then the right arm comes up or up and over. Squeeze your booty, heads in line with your shoulders. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. And then other side. So I'm going to come down and switch sides. So pulling your low belly towards your sacrum. Lift your chest. And then crawl that right hand out to the side. So I want your hand to be a, a couple inches in front of your shoulder. Pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, heads in line with your shoulders, left shoulders down and back. And then left leg comes up like this. Nice. Left foot goes in front of right. Maybe you're on your elbows. You can be on your elbow, Teresa. I don't want you to hurt your hands. Nice. So Teresa, your, your low hand is too close to your body. It needs to go out farther, I think, unless the jungle is doing it. Or left foot's on top of right. Yes, better. And then reach that left arm up, reach those hips up, reach that left hand up and over. Nice, exhale, come on down. Take it down dog, a flow, or just come to rest. I, I cannot do a flow after that, but my body's like, nope, that was enough, thank you. That was good. Nice, good job. All right. And then, um, all right, we're gonna do one quick hip opener and then a back bend. So we're gonna just end with energizing. Okay. So take your feet as wide as the mat. And then shift over to the right into this 90-90 so that your right shin is in line with the front of the mat. Your left shin is in line with the front of the mat and your inner thigh is in line with the long edge of the mat. So bring your weight forward and then either stay here or bring that left leg back and bring that right ankle in. So do what feels good to you. Bring your weight forward, pressing your hands like we've been doing, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, really a strengthening stretch. Nice. And then melt into the stretch. So just melt into the stretch. Let everything go. You can put the top of your head on a block. You can stack your fists. Nice. Inhale, come on up. If you're at the 99, you just be at the side angle and just get a little stretch in that left quad without tweaking your knee. If you're in pigeon pose with your heel in, bend that back leg, maybe grab your foot. You don't have to grab your foot to feel the stretch. Nice. And then exhale, release. 
See if you can switch sides without using your hands. Just as a challenge, if you have to, nobody cares. Rock from side to side. Good. And then 90, 90, 90. So left shin, front of the mat, right shin, front of the mat, center thigh, long edge of the mat. Shift your weight forward, pressing your hands, pulling your lower belly, pulling your middle belly. Nice. Lift your heart. Nice. And then just melt into it. Maybe you come onto your elbows, maybe your head's on a block. Let everything go. Nice. And then inhale, come all the way up. Grab your back foot. So maybe at the side angle, maybe you're in pigeon pose. I just want you to get the stretch in this right quad. Nice part today. And then exhale, come all the way down onto your back. Nice. Okay. And let's just do one more back bend. So bringing your arms overhead, I want you to press into your feet like we've been doing. So press, press, press into your feet. If your knees are wonky, take them farther away. And if you want to um, put the band around your legs, you could do that. If you want to press out into your legs, I'm going to do that. And then press into your feet, press out into the band. And then either stay with your arms overhead or bring your arms next to you, interlace them and lift and press. Press, press, press. Squeeze those glutes. Lift your heart. Nice. Exhale, come on down. And then rock your legs from side to side. And then let's do that one more time. So press in your feet and press into that band or that strap if you're using it. Start with your arms overhead. Nice. And then press your legs out into the strap. Squeeze your booty. You can leave your arms overhead. You can take your hands next to you. You can interlace them. Or you can come up onto your toes and lift your hips and press your legs into the strap. Nice. And then exhale, come all the way down. Remove the strap. Nice. Take your legs as wide as the mat, hands out to the side, and then take both your knees to the right. Take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Feel a deep stretch down the left side of your hip. And I'm gonna say, just let everything go. Nice. And then take that right leg off, put it on the right edge of the mat. So now both your feet are on the edges of the mat and take both your knees over to the left. Take that left ankle on top of your right knee. Feel that deep stretch in your outer right hip. and let everything go. Nice, and then take your left foot on the outside of the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. And then either send your legs up, maybe do legs up the wall, or you can press on up in the shoulder stand. Pull in your low belly, pull in your upper belly, pull it shoulder blades onto the mat. And then just bring your legs towards you. Nice. 
and then slowly make your way back onto the mat. Either soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, or feet wide, knees together. And then just take a moment to feel your heart pumping. Feel your blood and breath circulating throughout your whole body. Knowing that we needed the whole circumference of our core. Not just our abs. to put our full body to use. And just notice how that felt, inviting all parts of your core to the party. Circumference of core, diaphragm, spinal extension, pelvic floor, psoas back of core, but all of these parts work together. And so they are all equally important. And then whenever you're ready, gently roll to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. Taking a moment to just scan those different parts of your core and be grateful for all of them, for all that they do so that you can basically function in your life. Whether it's in sports or going to the grocery store or walking or balancing, not falling over. And then gently making your way on up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands to your heart, lifting your heart. So I want you to see if you can be mindful that you feel this when you go throughout your day today, that when you start to feel this slumpy dumpy, that you lift this on up. And namaste. 